calculate the mass of 0.25 moles of potassium oxide. Okay, so now things are a little bit different here. I'm giving you the moles. What were the, the mass before based on? It was based on one mole. Now we're looking at a quarter of a mole. Okay, 0.25 moles. So there are a few changes to the formula. We know that molar mass is equal to the mass divided by, uh, sorry, the uh, mass divided by the number of moles. Sorry. Okay. So what? Well, let's do that. Okay, molar mass, yeah, it was so confusing because it was all M's, okay? Molar mass is equal to mass over the number of moles, okay? But now, we know that, right? What, uh, what is the question asking us for? Hmm? Quarter of a mole, but the mass, so which means, it's asking us to find that. Are we given moles? Are we given moles? Yeah. Yes. Right? That's that one right there. How about molar mass? I can find that out, right? I can find that out. But what do I need to do before that? Figure out my formula. I have potassium oxide. How many of each atom do I have? So I must be able to put together that formula. So potassium, so what kind of compound is that? Potassium oxide, ionic. So metal, non-metal. So we go through the five-step crossover rule. Potassium, what is the formula? Or the, uh, the symbol? K. How about oxygen, O, right? What's the charge for potassium? Plus one, oxygen, negative two. So then all we gotta do Cross them over. What's our formula? K2O. Okay, so. Here is what we use this pyramid here to show that. Okay, so remember the pyramids that we were using in physics? We've got a pyramid here for mass. So now let's label this M molar mass. M, the mass, N, the number of moles. Okay. So which one do we need to find? The mass. So how do we use the pyramid? Who remembers the way I use it? You cover up which one? The one we need. Which one of these do we need? The mass, so we cover up the M, so we cover up this or just blank it out, and we have molar mass side by side with the number of moles. So we're gonna multiply that, good. Or times it. <laughs> multiply, okay. So if we need to find a mass, we remove the mass from the triangle. Okay. So I just removed it. Okay, and we're multiplying the uh, molar mass with the uh, number of moles. And again, we need to do. We need to find the molar mass. Okay. So, here's the molar mass of uh, potassium oxide. So you can double check it yourself. Uh, so we have one atom. Sorry, we have two atoms. We have K2O. So we have two atoms of uh, potassium, and we have one of oxygen. So you, you want to find the molar mass of two potassium atoms and one oxygen atom in this molecular formula. And we get 94.2 grams per mole. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.25 moles, right? So we're left with our molar mass times or that. But now what units are canceling out? in this question. What units are canceling out? Moles. Moles. So moles are canceling out. 
So my answer is going to be in grams. grams. So when I multiply those two, I get? 23.55 grams of K2O, potassium oxide. So it's really important that you are able to write that formula. Because like I said, if you, if you made the mistake of in the formula and you did that somehow, or just KO, you're losing out on a, on a complete molecular, um, molar mass of potassium. Okay. And in this one, yeah, the same thing, you're losing out on one uh, uh, molar mass of, of uh, potassium and you're adding in the molar mass of oxygen, an extra one. Okay, so that's why. It's really important, I can't stress enough how important your ability to name is.